Welcome to Pre-K with Miss K. Today, I am joined by my friend, Mr. Panda. And Mr. Panda, what do you have? A balloon. Because guess what? Our lesson today and our next lesson are going to be all about balloons. balloons. We are very excited. Let's get started with our calendar. Let's start with our days of the week. Let me hear you. Ready? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What number is going to come next? 19, 20, 21. Last month was March. Now it is April. We start with January, February, March, April. So today is Tuesday, April 21st. 2020. Check out sign for your weather today. Is it sunny, cloudy, windy, rainy, or snowy? Let's get started. For our calendar today, we have circle time. We have a new sight word. Our science and a story. Math. Social studies. Writing. And for our fun activity today, we're going to be making what? Well, balloon. That's right, balloon animals. We'll end with our charade and a funny, funny balloon joke Mr. Panda is going to tell us today. Let's get started. Here we go. Our color today is the color of my special balloon right here. My color is pink. That's right. How do we spell pink? Pa, 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 pa. P I N K. Spell pink. Let's put up our pink. For our shape today, I'm going to shape my balloon. Are you ready, set? Oh, ready, set. What's our shape? A heart. It's a heart. Let's spell heart. Starts with a H. Ready? H E A R T. For our number today, I'm going to bend my balloon. What do you think it's going to be? What number could it be? How about number? Six. Let's count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you show me on your finger? Let's count six fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to add five plus one equals six. And our letter today makes the sound ba, 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 ba for a balloon. Ba, 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 ba. B. B, capital B and lowercase b. Start the word balloon. On our cards today, we have just a few cards. This community helper is in the military. There are six branches of the military. The Army, the Navy, the Marines, the Coast Guard, the Air Force, and the Space Force. They defend the United States, they train and plan military operations, they conduct missions and gather intelligence and preserve peace throughout the United States and the world. We are always very grateful for anyone who serves in the military. One of these things does not belong. belong. The bat, the dustpan, the broom, or the vacuum? The baseball bat does. Not be long. We use these things to clean. clean. Can we clean with a bat? Uh, no. All we can do is hit things. We use it to play baseball. We do not use it to clean. What rhymes with mouse? Glasses, chair, or house? Remember, rhyming sounds the same at the end. Mouse rhymes with house. House, of course. Mouse, house. There's a mouse in the house. I hope not. All right, let's see about our manners. Which one is telling us, showing us good manners? When we eat, we chew with our mouth closed, or when we eat, we chew with our mouth open. What would be the best choice for good manners? Do we chew with our mouth open or closed, Mr. Panda? Closed. It needs to be closed. That's right, for good manners. We chew with our mouth closed. I have a special animal today. It is a pink bird. Our pink bird is a flamingo. <gasps> Ready to learn some fun facts about flamingos? Flamingos can grow to be five feet tall. 
A flamingo's eye is larger than its brain. Did you know that? Flamingos are pink in color because their diet contains carotene. Flamingos can live up to 20 years in the wild. And flamingo chicks, the little flamingo babies, don't get their full coloration of pink until they're about three years old. Very cool. Goodbye, flamingo. Okay, I need you to show me your hair. Where's your hair? Where's your hair? I need you to yawn. <sighs> that was a big yawn. What do you do with a pencil? You write. You write with it, of course. What do you use to cut paper? Scissors. Scissors. Okay, our categories. A lamp, flashlight, and candle are all things that give us light. A lamp, flashlight, and candle all give us light. When do you use a leash? When do you need a leash? When you walk your dog. When you take your dog for a walk. And why do we put a stamp on a letter? So we can mail it. Without the stamp in the corner, then you cannot mail your letter. The post office will not mail it. You have to pay for a stamp. And then that pays for you to be able to mail your letter. All right, our story. Listen for our details, and then we're going to do our yoga stretch. Ready? Max is going to the planetarium on Monday with his class to learn about the solar system. Say it one more time. Max is going to the planetarium on Monday with his class to learn about the solar system. Question one. Where is Max going? To the planetarium. Who is going with Max? His class. When is Max going? On Monday. On Monday. And why is Max going? To learn about the solar system. The solar system. Great job remembering the details in our sentence. Everybody up. Up, 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 let's do our yoga stretch. Stand straight up. We're gonna be a ladder today. Put one arm up really high and lean. Put the other arm up and lean the opposite direction. We are ready. What a good stretch. I have our side work. You spell it Y-O-U. <gasps> What is it? You. You. Let's go through all our side words and then we'll go over our sentence. Ready? You. Go. To. I. Big. Like. See. Have. It. And you. Our sentence is already up here. Ready? Can. You. A balloon animal. Thumbs up if you can or thumbs down if you've never done it before. Today is our first time trying to make a balloon animal. Okay, when we write a sentence, the first letter always has a capital and at the end is punctuation. <gasps> Mr. Panda, I have a different punctuation mark. Can you help our friends and tell them what it is? A question mark. That's right, because we were asking a question. Can you make a balloon animal? Yes or no. How many words are in our sentence? We have a long sentence today. Ready? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, that was our number today. We had six <laughs> words in our sentence. And every word, this word, is made up of four different letters. This word just has one letter. This word has how many letters? One, two, three. And balloon, how many letters? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So words are made up of different combinations of letters. Thumbs up. Well, let's see what is next. We have our science and our story. It's in our big book of why by the National Geographic Kids. Our question is for our story today, why do balloons float? 
So this is also incorporating a little bit of science for us. Floating balloons are filled with helium. Can you say that? Helium. helium. That's one of the elements on our periodic table. Helium is a gas that is lighter than air. Because it is lighter, gravity has less pull on it and it floats. If you let go of a helium balloon, it could go up for four miles up into the air before it pops. Hot air balloons are filled with hot air heated by propane. Hot air is lighter than cold air. So when the air outside a balloon is colder than the inside, it floats. It says when the very first hot air balloon flew, there was a duck, a sheep, and a rooster on board. People did not know what would happen when a living, breathing animal floated into the sky. So floating balloons are filled with helium, that's the element, and hot air balloons are, floated, are filled with hot air heated by propane. The hot air is lighter than the cold air, so when the air outside the balloon is colder than the inside, it starts to float. The end. Let's stand up for our mind and motion brain break. We have a new one today. When I say hop, you're gonna just do one, stand on one foot, hop up and down once. When I say hop, you stand on one foot and hop once. Let's practice, ready? Hop, march, one, two, twirl, jump, Bend, squat, clap, stomp, throw. Okay, I'm gonna put a combination of three of them together. Are you ready? Hop, stomp, twirl. Let's do another one. Clap. Throw, squat. High five. I hope you guys are having fun with our Minds in Motion Brain Breaks at home too. For our math today, I have some real money. We have a math word problem today. See if you can listen and figure out our math word problem. At the county fair, the balloon animals cost $1 each. I brought $3 to the fair. How many balloon animals can I buy? Hmm, let's say it again. At the county fair, the balloon animals cost $1 each. So let's write down that information. The balloon animals cost $1 each. I brought with me how many dollars? Let's count. One, two, three. I brought $3. How many balloons can I buy? Three. That's right. And why can I buy three? Because what? Each balloon animal, let's make it look like a doggy. That balloon animal is one dollar. Another balloon animal would be another dollar. So far we have one plus one, but that only equals two and I have three dollars. So I would need one more balloon animal for one dollar. So we'd have one, plus one, plus one. So we'll add them all up. One, two, and three. So how many balloon animals could I buy for $3? I could buy three balloon animals. Great job solving our math word problem. For our social studies today, do you know what state we could find the hot air balloon capital of the world? That would be in the state of New 
Mexico. New, New Mexico, Mexico is to the west of Texas. Wait, this way's north, this way's south, this way's east, this way's west. Here is Texas. So New Mexico is west of Texas. New Mexico is a capital called Santa Fe. But in a special town called Albuquerque, every October, they have the International Balloon Fiesta for nine days. And they call, that's why they call Albuquerque the hot air balloon capital of the world. Do you want to know why they have it in New Mexico? That's because wind currents and air temperature are very important to the success of flying a hot air balloon. We just talked about that in our story, in our science story, where it said that the temperature of the hot air balloon has to be warmer than the air temperature outside. So the most ideal place to hold this hot air balloon festival is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Right in New Mexico. I wanted to show you, Mr. Panda and I were looking for some balloons from the International Balloon Fiesta. Mr. Mr. Panda and I were looking for our favorite balloon from the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. This is from 2018. And Mr. Panda, come around here and tell them what was the favorite balloon that you saw? Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry were two giant hot air balloons. So that might be something you want to look up later too. Other balloons that you might see at the hot air balloon fiesta at the Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. Let's take another quick brain break. Are you ready? I have bend, clap, march. Awesome. Next on our agenda, we have some writing. For our four squared today, our topic sentence says what, Mr. Panda? Balloons are fine. And remember, we're going to have three details. And we're going to have one concluding sentence. If you want to do some writing along with us, go ahead and pause the video. You can get a piece of paper. Remember, you fold it like a hot dog and then like a hamburger. And to make four squares. Our goal is to try to write words and sentences, but you can also just do pictures if that's what you're able to do. Again, the point is just we're trying to organize our thoughts and so that at some point we can put it together to make a paragraph. Let's see, balloons are fun. Hmm, what's something fun we can do with a balloon? Do you ever fill it up? What do you do? Make balloon animals. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Making balloon animals is Fun. Well, balloons are fun. Making balloon animals is awesome. Awesome. I like that. All right, and then we can try to make a balloon animal. Put a little head in a funny tail. I don't know. So that could be what your balloon animal is about. All right, so balloons are fun. Making balloon animals is awesome. Well, again, what could you fill up a balloon with, maybe? I fill a balloon up. I fill balloons up with helium. Ooh, very good. The helium makes them float. I like that. I fill up with, fill, fill balloons up with helium. Helium, and then you could show your balloon floating, floating up. Okay, what else? Balloons are fun. Making balloons animals is awesome. I fill balloons up with helium. And maybe you decorate with balloons. Why would we decorate with balloons? It's for somebody's birthday. You could say maybe my mom uses balloons. When it is my birthday. birthday. My birthday is actually coming up. 
That's right. Maybe there are other friends who have birthdays coming up too. And our concluding sentence might be, I love balloons. Okay. So we would start with balloons are fun. Making balloon animals is awesome. I fill balloons up with helium. My mom uses balloons when it is my birthday. I love balloons. I think that's a thumb up for our writing today. Next on our schedule, it's going to be time to make our balloon, balloon animals today. We're going to move over to our science table. Here we go. Hi friends and welcome back. We are going to be making a balloon dog today. Are you excited? All right, first things first, you have to have special balloons for these balloon animals. They have to be long ones, and you have to stretch it out first. Why, Mr. Panda? If you don't, we tried it, and it popped right away. And it popped right away, so you have to make sure to stretch it out. When my set, it came with a really handy-dandy air pump like this. So you put it in the end, and you have to pump it quick, 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 quick. You need to leave a little bit of room at the end when you're making balloon animals so that you can bed them. Okay, after you have it off, you're going to tie on your knot. And I already have a red one here ready for us. We're going to get ready to make our balloon dog. So we're going to start on this end. Okay, so first things first, we're going to go about a few inches down and we're going to twist it around. Uh-oh, careful, Mr. Tana. We're going to twist it around, and then we fold it down, and then we twist in half. This part is going to be our ears and our nose for our dog. It's going to be the ears and the nose. After we have that, we go down a little bit more for the dog's neck, and twist a little bit more. Now, we have to make his front paws. So we go down again a little bit to make his front paw. And then we twist up and twist these two together so that it will stick. Okay, here's what we have so far. We're getting there that we need a space for his body. This part's going to be his body. Once we have space for his body, then we twist that part off. Now we need to make his back legs. So we kind of measure the same distance, twist it there, fold it up to twist together, and presto! What do we have? That was really fun making our balloon animal. We're going to go back and do our charade and our joke. That was a lot of fun making our balloon dogs today. Mr. Panda, you want to tell them what you named your two balloon dogs? Ketchup and Mustard. Ketchup and Mustard. Our charade today, remember you can do this to somebody in your, wherever you're at today if you want to as well. Our charade is... Popping balloons. What would this be? This is a hammer, a hammer. Did you guess that one? It was a hammer. Uh, Mr. P Mr. Panda, do you want to do our funny joke for today? Yeah. Okay. Why were the balloons in the bathroom? Why were all the balloons in the bathroom? Because they were having a Birthday party. Oh, birthday party! Instead of a birthday party. We'll see you for our next lesson. We'll also be talking about balloons. Bye, friends. Bye, ketchup and mustard.